Hey beloveds, welcome to Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. So you know what to do, let's get into today's affirmation. Go ahead and close your eyes, take a deep breath in, release. I am aligned and content. I am aligned and content. I am aligned and content. Go ahead and take a deep breath in, release, open your eyes. So that affirmation for me is really personal because I feel aligned, but I don't feel content. So by using that affirmation, feeling the feelings behind the affirmation, I know that the mind will, the all-powerful mind, will go ahead and create that experience for me. It's called cognitive dissonance. Look it up. What we repeat with our mouths and our feelings, the mind needs to be able to connect with that. So the mind, the powerful mind that God has given us is going to bring people, situations, circumstances into our existence in order to have what we are saying align to have our reality aligned with what we are actually saying. So that's why affirmations are so important, but not just saying the words, repeating the words and feeling that. What does that feel like to feel content? It feels like this, like this is how I feel, like that's how I look, how I feel on the inside when I'm saying I am aligned and I am content. So yes, put your affirmations into practice. When, when shit hits the fan during the day, put your affirmations into practice. Come down, like, come down, don't be so mad. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a wellness haul. So I have done hauls from metaphysical stores. I have done grocery shopping hauls. So today we are going to be doing wellness. You guys know I love this temple that God has given me and I have finally been able to Find the things that really allow my body to flourish. And I'm still learning and I'm still working, but I have found some really, really great things that really just make being a human a little bit better. So let's get started on this wellness haul. <laughs> So I got everything from Amazon. I think I have to say this is not a paid promotional video. Like whoever wants to sponsor me, if you want to send me stuff, let me know. Like I'm totally down to do a review and get a check. Okay, get the bag. Um, okay, so I got everything from Amazon. Everything came out to about $120. So first things first is Everyday Coconut Body Wash from Alafia. So this company gets all of their resources from West Africa and takes the money from the company and gives it back to the women. So these women are allowed to escape from poverty and make an actual living. Like if you guys have ever been to West Africa, of course there is like luxurious places and resorts and, and hotels, but like when you're on the normal streets, it's people selling food and bread and whatever and plantains for like 10 cents, five cents, just so that they can eat for the day. It's it's tough, it's tough out there. So Alafia Farms, that's why I like to buy their stuff because they give back to the, um, to the West African community. So Alafia pays fair wages, empowers mothers and families and utilizes sustainable wild crafted ingredients. Fair trade, no synthetic fragrances, it's vegan, it's basically non-toxic. Next is amazing grass their belly elixir i have been wanting to you know take my health and wellness to the next level and i can do that by adding in like powders into my daily smoothies so this has it's made with moringa and ashwagandha i have a video on ashwagandha be sure to check it out i love ashwagandha i still take it every day in my smoothies and in my tea it has turmeric, holy basil, yacon, and yacon for gut health. It's USDA organic, it's non-GMO, plant-based, and it says simply delicious. So it is certified non-GMO. Ashwagandha, moringa leaf, reishi, cordyceps, shishranda, mucana, and these are all great for people who are prone to anxiety. So I can sometimes get all anxious 
And that's why I like taking my ashwagandha because it allows me to stay calm and cool and collected throughout the day. So I highly recommend it. Watch my video on ashwagandha to get to know that amazing herb. And, or I'm sorry, amazing root. There's not a lot of things that I do for my gut. Like I don't take probiotics. So this actually has probiotics in it. So that is why I purchased this. I highly recommend checking out Amazing Grass. I do like them. I've been following them for a while on Instagram and I'm super happy that I get to try out their product I just tried this actually in my morning tea let me show you guys so this is basically what it would look like um, it's it doesn't mix that well so you do have to mix it a lot and it doesn't taste like anything no it doesn't taste like anything this is I have my peppermint tea and then I just added a spoonful of this and it doesn't taste like anything so um, but I'm excited to get my gut health and my calmness on. Next, we have the good old thyers. How do you say this? Thyers? Tires? Thyers. Thayers. Whatever. Witch hazel, aloe vera formula, alcohol-free toner, rose butter. I've been using this for like four or five years. Like, this is my go-to um, natural organic toner it's not drying it smells good it does what it needs to do it cleans my face I like it it's inexpensive I believe it was ten dollars at Target um, and yes alcohol free paraben free rose water cleanses it tones I really like this stuff and a little bit goes a long way so this will last you a very very long time so I also got from Amazon this in essence black soap can you guys see that in essence so you used to be able to purchase this at Whole Foods but I guess they took their contract out of Whole Foods so I had to buy this online it's unscented this works what okay so in the summertime the Sun here in LA because of the pollution the Sun is a bit more harsh so my skin on my face basically I got like a just a bad tan you know my skin on my face was much deeper than the skin on my chest and it didn't match and it didn't look nice and my mom kept com commenting on it so you know when your mom comments on me I gotta fix it so um, I bought some black soap I found it at Whole Foods and it worked it brought my skin back to its original color so I do use this every day or every other day you have to be careful with black soap guys because it is a natural bleacher like people in Ghana use it all the time to basically lighten and bleach their skin obviously in Ghana it's like way more harsh the the type of soap they're using is way more harsh so if you do decide to purchase black soap, just be cautious. It does even out your skin tone. It lightens up your dark spots. It makes your skin just like, just even, 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 even. I don't know why my scalp was itching. It's even. So I highly recommend this one. Do not buy Shea Moisture Black Soap. That is the fakest black soap you could ever buy. First of all, black soap is not the color black. So if you are purchasing African black soap and it is the color black, no, you're being led astray. African black soap is brown. Let me just take this out of the package for y'all. Ooh. Ooh. Slippery. African black soap will always be this color. It will always be brown and a dark brown. It will never be black. If it's black, that means that they've just added stuff to it to make it black. So the ingredients are cocoa pod powder, plantain peel powder, virgin coconut oil, and virgin palm kernel oil. The palm kernel, that's what's going to allow your skin to just even out and lighten up a little bit. Just a little bit. We're not bleaching ourselves here. Don't get it twisted. We're just evening out our skin tones, okay? So African black soap is produced and obtained according to fair trade standards. Um, and is the traditional soap used by people throughout West Africa for centuries. This soap contains no animal fats or chemicals. The dark color of the soap is attributed to the drying, grinding, and roasting of the cacao pods and plantain peels, which are then boiled with local plant oil. Also, what I purchased from them was this roll-on, um, this roll-on perfume. So it's called Sudanese Coconut and Vanilla. And this was like 11 bucks. It's very small. You guys, I did not like this at all. It smells like a black hair salon. It smells like a Dominican hair salon on a Saturday. It smells like cheap Glade vanilla um, spray. I did not like this 
at all. Just, just no, oof. I don't like it at all. But the ingredients are organic jojoba oil and essential oils and I'm just not. It smells like Glade. It smells like Glade. So I'm not a fan of this at all. So do not order this. Maybe order it in a, di in a different scent. But I got the Sudanese coconut and vanilla and I did not like this at all. Next up, my girl, my internet cousin, Sadia Marie. Go and check out her channel. She is all about minimalism, spiritually mommy. She's all about just goodness and wellness and um, she's she's vulnerable. She's open. She's authentic, and I love her. And in one of her videos, her recent video, she talked about her skincare and how she uses a cure, which is a it's vegan, natural, plant based, I believe. Um, and so she bought a few products. So I, I was like, okay, I trust her. So I bought the oil free serum. I might have thrown the box away, guys. So I actually can't tell you what is in here, but. It's called A Cure, and go ahead and research it on your own because I don't know where the box is at. Go to Sadia's video. She talks about it. I do believe that it is organic, natural, non-GMO, plant-based, I think. But um, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm so excited to put this into my skincare regimen. You guys are always asking me about my skin, my skin, my skin. Well, I honestly just have to say my grandma has beautiful skin. So first, it's genetic. Second, it's water. And third, it's just keeping the products that I put, that I use, minimal, organic, natural. There's sometimes like in the past five years where I've tried to do like a chemical-based um, toxic product and my skin just wasn't having it so I keep it super simple I use a cleanser I use my witch hazel toner and then I'll use shea butter at night you guys know I got the shea butter hookup the raw shea butter hookup from Ghana I'll let you girl if you need some um, yeah so I'm excited to bring this in I really wanted a serum I don't have serums and there's a lot of serums that are just not non-toxic or just don't have that are just not clean so I'm definitely excited to try this out Put the lime in the coconut and twist it all up. Put the lime in the coconut and twist it all up. I decided to try out Nutiva's coconut oil. Can we just talk about Trader Joe's like coconut oil for a second? Because I just feel like that coconut oil is not that great. I don't know if they've been getting it from a new place, but it smells different. It doesn't make my food taste the same I don't know I'm not really feeling it so I decided to branch out and buy other coconut oil coconut oil is expensive the one that I bought um like two weeks ago was eleven dollars you know the ones that Trader Joe's is six or seven so um I don't know if you guys know or are familiar with food babe foodbabe.com she is the pioneer of exposing us to non-gmo products and she is she's a powerhouse okay like people have been corporations have been crumbling under her power of just exposing them of the terrible ingredients that they feed us so check out foodbabe.com she um suggest for us to use the coconut oil from this brand so this brand is usda organic and non-gmo certified um and it smells really good it's just pure coconut oil vegan non-gmo no hexane this is a non-bpa container non-hydrogenated i know that the um the, the Heart and Health Association tried to say that coconut oil is bad for you. That is bumbaclot bullshit, okay? You know why they said that? They said that because people are getting healthy. And people when people get healthy, they get smart. When people get smart, the people in, in power get scared. So that's why they were saying coconut oil is not good for you and trying to tell us to go back to corn oil no 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 coconut oil is God's gift okay the fact that God made coconut meat coconut water coconut oil from coconuts I mean so this is the Nutiva coconut oil I got two for I think 15 my only issue is that when you open it there's like are you guys gonna be able to see that? It's like a, do you guys kind of see that? It's like, look at that. Look, it's like missing. Like, I don't know, I guess it melted and then slid over, but they are not packing this up. This is not that full. 
That new Tiba is not that full, but I am no longer going to be purchasing Trader Joe's organic um, coconut oil. It just doesn't taste the same. I need that coconutty. Ooh, I mean, you can taste the difference, right? You just taste the difference. I taste the difference between like using coconut oil from a different brand, like like unrefined, no heat coconut oil, and then Trader Joe's coconut oil. It's just just. Trader Joe's, I don't know. You're not doing it for me anymore. Y'all not. I bought um, the Rada Beauty Top 8 100% Pure Therapeutic Grade Essential Oils. When you're on Amazon, you always see this first. I guess it's promoted, um, but I got it. I'm cool with it. I like it. Um, I know this is not like the best, but also the best is expensive. So... Uh, this essential oil comes with lavender, tea tree, peppermint, rosemary, orange, eucalyptus, lemongrass, and frankincense. Um, one of my favorite scents is bergamot. This does not come with bergamot, but it's all good. Let me see. Can I show you all this? Look how pretty. Oh, it smells so good. So I haven't tried it yet. I am excited to try it. Um, I do have my humidifier. Um, it's the Sintas humidifier. It's like $20 on Amazon. I have talked about it in my other videos before. But yeah, so that was my wellness haul. I think I spent about $120, maybe $130. I'm excited to bring all of these things into my life and into my lifestyle. And again, I'm no expert, but I know what I like and I know what my body likes and this is what my body likes. So I thank you guys for tuning in. If you are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what product you are are interested in trying out or what health and wellness products you would love me to try out and do a review for you so i thank you guys for tuning in and i'll see you guys next video